Hey guys, uh, today Sketch 43 has just been released and with it comes many small improvements and some under the hood uh, changes. And I wanna talk about two things that got me really excited. And one is the new file format on Sketch 43. And there's a lot of talk about this new format and what it means for designers. There's the myth that now designers will need to use Git uh, or, or they, they will have to start putting lines on terminal and probably learn to code. <laughs> Uh, uh, and it's kind of not true. I mean, probably we should be learning to code, <laughs> and probably we should be getting used to Git, but uh, a sketch is not going to require you to know those things. So what does this new file format mean? So in the past, a sketch's da data was stored in a binary format, which makes it unreadable to humans. Now Sketch 43 is uh, it's making it a new file format, which is readable by humans, which is JSON. It's not only that, but also makes it more accessible for other developers that want to start making plugins or make, creating different solutions for Sketch. And before, if you wanted to develop for, for Sketch, you needed to do it using a Mac. And now with the new file format, now you can do it on Windows, Linux, whatever. So what does this mean for you as a designer? Not really anything. Your current workflow is not going to change. It's going to remain the same. So don't worry about that. Um, the only thing is that since it's a new file format, the current files, uh, the ones that are safe on Sketch 43 will not be compatible with previous versions. So you will not be able to open uh, a file from Sketch 43 on Sketch 42 and so on. Also, probably some of the plugins will break for probably the next couple of weeks. So just uh, contact your developer from your favorite plugin if it's breaking and tell them like, yo, please fix this. But we're going to start seeing more changes in the future. Since now developing for Sketch is more accessible, I think we're gonna start seeing a lot of really cool third-party solutions. Um, probably a Sketch to HTML solution that works like magic, probably a GitHub for designers, also probably a lot of automation. So I don't know, that, that gets me really excited. Now, the second thing that has me really excited is improved shape editing. Now, when you select a vector, its handle control points uh, show up, but not only the ones from the one you have selected, but the ones that are next to it in the path. So that will make it really easy to create illustrations on Sketch. It's a small improvement, but one that I'm really excited about because I've been trying to make more uh, visual design work on Sketch, and I think that's going to make it a little bit easier. So that's it. Uh, just debunking some of the myths about the new file format, and also it's, it's pretty much going to be the same. If you're brave enough to update right away, just download it and install it. And if you see that something is failing or anything that is breaking, please leave it in the comments or go to our Facebook group. Join us, we, we're a group of designers that are really cool. Also, if you're interested to know a little bit more about the new file format, uh, I'm adding a link to a writing uh, from the CTO of Anima App. He explains it a little bit better. Anyway, bye-bye, subscribe, like, I don't know, bye-bye.